Okay, question two, part A. Expand and simplify seven plus root five times three minus root five. So, two A. I'm just gonna write down the question here. Seven plus root five times three minus root five. Okay, and just expand it like we would any algebraic bracket. Seven times three, 21. Seven times negative root five minus seven lots of root five. Root five times three gives us three root five. And root five times negative root five is gonna be negative five. Root five times root five is five. Simplify. That means we're going to collect together our like terms. 21 take away 5 is seven, uh, 16. And negative 7 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is going to give us minus 4 root 5. So part A, handy enough. Part B, we're asked to express 7 plus root 5 over 3 plus root five in the form a plus b root five where a and b are integers so basically i've got to have it in this form where a and b are just numbers okay so essentially what we're going to have to do here is rationalize the denominator now how are we going to do that well we take the seven plus root five over the three plus root 5 and what we're going to multiply top and bottom by this expression I'm going to write it in red so that was the original fraction we're going to multiply above and below by the same thing and we're going to multiply top and bottom by 3 minus root 5 over 3 minus root 5 which is essentially just like multiplying by one. Now, if you look back to part A, we've actually done some of the work. The top is going to simplify to 16 minus four root five, and the denominator, well, it's just like the difference of two squares. If I expand and simplify this, we're gonna end up with 9, let's change that color. We're going to end up with 9 minus 5. And when we tidy that up, 16 minus 4 root 5 is going to be over 4. And then finally, what we need to do, A and B have to be integers. That means they're positive or negative whole numbers. So what we can do is we can actually cancel the four into the 16 and the four here. And that leaves us with four minus root five. Right, so there's the mark scheme there. If you wanna pause the video and have a read, see where the marks are coming from. And here's what the examiner had to say. Answered very well. Lots of candidates get full marks. Um, mistakes in part A were usually for incorrectly squaring the root five terms, so be careful there. Sign errors and errors collecting terms, so be very careful there. Rationalizing was well known. Common mistake though is at this point, when we get here, a common mistake, and don't do this, is to just cancel the four into the 16. It's got to cancel into every term, so don't forget that.